Okay, I'm gonna show you another scarf knot that is pretty functional and it's honestly kind of what I use the most. If you have ever worn a tie before, this is gonna be pretty simple for you. So the first thing is fold it in half and then start rolling it from the corner to the flat side. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna answer a question that we got. It was how big are these scarves? This scarf is a 34 and a half by 34 and a half, which news to me is kind of the standard size. I usually pick these up um, mostly as gifts, so I don't know where they come from. Um, but if and when I have bought them, I've bought them at local feed stores, Murdoch's, Jack's, things like that. So that's usually where you'll find those standard sizes. If you want bigger sizes, that's going to be like Wild Rags Company dot com something like that they can make up to 40 you know 40 by 40 which is pretty big the reason why you'd want something that big is you're going to wear kind of a big stack on your neck but anyway so this is just the 34 and a half by 34 and a half so what i do is i'm literally going to tie this very similar to a double windsor i call this like the 1.5 windsor because i think when i learned how to tie ties i learned wrong still works for me so what i'm going to do is make sure one of these tails is significantly longer than the other I am right-handed, so I tie most of my stuff, you know, left over right. So make your left one at least, you know, double as long as your right one, okay? Now, the way that this works, if you need to learn how to tie a tie, and I don't explain this well, you can certainly Google that. But you're going to take your left over right completely, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is take now this long one and go over the top and down through the middle, okay? Just stay with me. That's where you are. That's what it looks like. Okay. Now I still have the long one. This is still the short one. Now I'm going to take the long one and cover up the top like that and come back up through the middle and then pull it through the front. Now I'm going to demonstrate this one more time. Now I can adjust this however I want. So I can tighten that knot down. Okay. By using the front one. I can just work it, but the benefit here is that this knot goes up and down whenever I want. So the way that I wear this is typically just, you know, kind of big and wherever, and I'll pull it up when it's cold and I'll tuck all of this either into my shirt or into my, you know, sweatshirt or overshirt. And it certainly looks nice, keeps my neck warm. Now, if I'm getting too hot, all I have to do is one hand go like this and just relax it for a second. If I'm cold again, I can pull it up again. Now, if I want this to cover more of my neck, I might make my rolls a little bit bigger, but that the, the whole point of this is not only to look sharp, but be able to adjust it depending on how cold I am and what I'm doing. So I'm going to tie that one more time for you. I think this is a really failed attempt at a single Windsor and an even worse attempt at a double Windsor. So here's how it goes again. Your right side is significantly shorter than your left side. You're going to take your left completely around. Okay, if this would only be halfway, you need to go completely around. Now your long guy, you're going to take and go through the top by your neck and straight down. Okay, that's where you're at right there. You can tighten this knot as you go. Now you're going to take your long one, and if you're looking down, you're going to go right over left. Now if you're watching this, this is going to be backwards for you. You can still tie it this way, but this is the way I do it. So just go over the front, back between the top. And this is the only visual part that's hard. There's a nice pocket right here that you just made. You're going to take that straight through that pocket. And now you can adjust that knot however you would like. Once again, one of them is going to tighten the knot. One of them is going to tighten it up on you. This kind of takes the place of um, a knot or a scarf ring where you'd slide it up and adjust. I worry about losing those, especially some of those that are rawhide and expensive. So that's kind of the one I honestly use all of the time. If it's really cold, certainly I'm going to use a rag for different reasons. But if I just need a little bit of something, that's how I do it. Once again, if you want it to cover more of your neck, make your, your folds even bigger. That's going to make the knot big too, so be aware of that. So that's just another really functional scarf knot that I use. If you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Star Up Family channel.